Hey guys, welcome back to Click. This is Im. Today we're doing a uh, unboxing and first impressions for the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. Now, for those of you who can't see that, let's just bring that into the camera's view there. Okay. So I picked this up quite a while back, um, but for those of you that know, I've been a bit busy and occupied, so still catching up. I have been using the watch, um, have nothing but great things to say about it, but for today we're going to hold off on the final review because I have a bit more testing to do. Um, we're going to talk about some impressions, talk about a bit of the battery life specs, and just see what's in the box, and then we can take it from there. Okay guys? So I got this from Best Buy up here in Canada came in at uh, I believe it was 500 bucks 550 bucks with tax and all that stuff so not cheap but definitely quality quality item so on the box we've got the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier branding okay on the side we've got the Gear S3 Frontier built-in speaker standalone GPS and let me just bring that in here um, 1.3 inch full circular super AMOLED display, full color always on face, military grade, military grade certified durable, mill standard 810G, IP68 certified dust and water resistant. All right, guys. Uh, 22 mil standard watch band, so you can put any band on if you choose to do so. And long lasting battery, 380 milliamp. Battery is awesome, guys, awesome. Uh, this new wave of watches, especially like if you can see in the back on my Apple Watch box there, great on battery, great on battery, like no complaints. I know I'm a medium to heavy user, so you know if it's good for me, it's got to be half decent for somebody that's not who's like a medium to light user. Okay, so this model is SMR760, and this is just a Wi-Fi model. Uh, I don't think there is a 3G or LTE version up here in Canada. Uh, you got a bunch of information in writing here, which I have never stopped to read. On the bottom, we've got just the model number, UPC, uh, made in Vietnam, space gray. So let's get into it, and we'll see what's what. Okay, so really premium unboxing experience. When you get that off, you've got foam on the inside to protect the watch. Okay, and you're presented with the watch sitting on the top. Looks amazing. Guys, looks absolutely premium. It's, you know, looks mint. Now, let's get the watch out. So, if you slide that up, let's just set this aside. You can see the protective clear film has been removed. I, obviously, as I mentioned, was using the watch. Okay, uh, this is just foam. This is your actual charging dock. And this is just a cradle, which is again just garbage. Okay, this is the charging dock, which goes with the rest of the stuff. Uh, why don't we power this up while we uh, get in to see what else we've got here okay there it is guys coming up the display on here is really crisp it's really really nice always on really works well now let's get in and see what's underneath okay guys this is just plastic but again pretty premium for a watch uh, package so you've got your uh, micro USB charging cable you have your Samsung branded Samsung branded charging brick let's just put that back nicely uh, you can see this stuff I don't really need I have other means of charging this stuff okay you've got your quick start guide model information blah 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 and tucked here in the corner you can see is the smaller band if you choose to do use it but as I've mentioned before there's nothing small about this guy here <coughs> No pun intended. So let's get that stuff back into the box and see what is what with the watch. All right. Let's drop this back in here as well as that. And there we go, guys. Okay. So the watch itself, I'll just give you a quick tour before we get into a little bit of the software, okay? So now, built in, we've got four gig of actual uh, storage where you can put on your music. Uh, we've got a, a dual core processor. We've got, I believe, 768 megabytes of RAM, which is more than enough. This is running Tizen OS, and it's super smooth, super quick, super snappy, and they've been doing a fantastic job maintaining it. 
Okay, so let's have a quick walk around and see what's what. So you have your dial here. Okay, and it feels great, guys. Really clicky, good feedback. There's no wobble in the dial itself. Okay, you've got a space gray bezel, which is all full stainless steel. This watch has some good weight to it, so be prepared for that. Okay, you've got your speaker here. You've got your heart rate sensor here, and I'm guessing this is just plastic. Let's just clean that up so you guys can have a quick look at it. There we go. So, it just says Samsung Gear S3. Uh, let's bring that in there. There you guys go. Uh, it says uh, 316L stainless steel case. Okay, so this is the real deal, guys. Uh, I know that they're, they, uh, I don't know exactly which company, but they did reach out to a Swiss manufacturer to help design the watch. So, and you can see that in the build, as well as the look and the feel of the watch. Definitely feels more of a watch than it does a smartwatch. All right, you can see that the band's nice and thick, good quality rubber. It is a bit stiff, but if you use it on the daily, it will work itself in. Again, there's lots of other bands on the market if you want to change that up for yourself. But I like this one. I'm sticking with it for now. Okay, rubber band there. This here for the OS. This is your power button down below. And this is your button to get home. This is also your button to get to your um, main apps and settings and whatnot. So you can use this scroll bar here to get through all of your settings and your apps. Now, if this is also touch screen, so you can touch that. And you can obviously customize stuff like style, sound, and vibration, your device, display, call, messages, connections, security, input, power save mode, gear info, and whatnot. So this is also to go back, as you can see. Super intuitive, really easy to use. If you scroll to your left, you'll move the screen to the right and you get your widgets that you've set up. You scroll to your left and you'll see any notifications and it says no notifications because it's currently not set up to a phone that's on. Okay, the S7 Edge that I was using it with is currently off and uh, put away. So really easy to use, really easy to set up. You can do a soft reset if you're setting this up with multiple phones, which just gets the Bluetooth connection reset, but doesn't erase all of your data and settings off of the, the watch, which is a good... Uh, easy tweak for me because I'm always switching phones. It allows me to actually use it on a daily. All right, guys. Uh, battery is fantastic. Um, sorry about that, guys. I got a quick call I had to take. But uh, as I was saying, the battery is fantastic. And uh, I would say you're getting at least two to three days uh, of usage. I would say more two than three. I, I guess the Apple Watch gets you a little bit better uh, battery, but it's not got an always on display. So, and the display here is bigger uh, by a few mil, but still bigger. Um, so as a result, I think, you know, it, they're very comparable watches. Uh, I can bring in here the Apple Watch just so you guys can see them side by side. But I will do a comparison for you, okay? But like you can easily see that this is more of a watch watch. For those that are like watch connoisseurs and watch guys, watch girls, this is the real deal. But it's a smart watch, right? Uh, for the techie, this is more kind of what it like a tech watch, I guess, would look like, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm really hoping Apple goes with a round face in the future, hopefully sooner than later, as this is the style I tend to gravitate to. Um, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So this has been a quick unboxing and impression of the Gear S3. So keep an eye out for the comparison. We'll go through the comparison software and whatnot between the two watches on one video. And then hopefully we'll do a final review of each of these watches in the next uh, week or two. All right, guys, if you have any questions, anything you want me to test out, anything you want me to compare, please do let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I'm out. Peace.